Most of us have suffered many sleepless nights due to our little friend, the mosquito. Not only do their high-pitched sound keep us awake, but the next morning we wake up with bite marks. It's not simply an irritation. Some mosquitoes pose a public health risk. Earlier this year, Zika has made its way into Africa. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention added Angola and Guinea-Bissau to their list of places with local transmission of the Zika virus. Mosquitoes that spread Zika don't usually live at elevations exceeding 2,000 meters above sea level. If you are traveling to Angola, you are at minimal risk of getting Zika in areas above this elevation. However, you still need to protect yourself from mosquito bites. The outbreak of the Zika virus is giving scientists added impetus to understand how mosquitoes are so effective at biting us and passing on disease. Researchers say that the mouth of a mosquito has a sheath that protects six needle-like mouth parts, known as stylets. When a mosquito bites, the sheath moves backwards and two stylets lined with tiny, sharp teeth saw through the skin. As these maxillae cut through the skin, two mandibles thrust into the tissue and hold it apart. Another needle, called the hypopharynx, dips mosquito saliva into the skin to keep blood flowing, causing an itchy welt to form and spreading diseases like Zika. Receptors in a sixth needle, the labrum, help guide it to a blood vessel. Blood is then sucked up through the labrum like a straw. As blood fills the mosquito's gut, it filters and excretes the water content to absorb more nutrients, red blood cells.